All right. Uh, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It's 9.36 in the evening, Sunday, June 6th, 2021. 9.36 in the evening, June 6th, Sunday, 2021. And um, we want to look at the warning that's still in effect for California. Um, we've had, of course, uh, uh, three strong earthquakes, a 5.9, a 5.9, and a 5.3 and hundreds of earthquakes down near uh, the Salton Sea. Over 600 uh, earthquakes down there. All right, first of all, uh, there's a 5.9 and a 5.9 that hit off the Northwest coast. You can see in the San Francisco Bay forecast, that was that peak right here in the fourth. And then the 5.3 hit on the morning of the fifth. And that was this quake, large quake here, the 5.3. And you can see that peak here on the Los Angeles forecast. And now this uh, peak here is coming up tonight. This is the sixth, and this is the, here's the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, seventh is right here. So early in the seventh, late on the sixth is when uh, this reaches maximum uh, risk level. And you can see why we we're still concerned. And if you look at the actual map here, the map is uh, still for the area from uh, San Francisco Bay to uh, Los Angeles, centered around Fraser Park to Coalinga. And then the risk on the 6th into the 7th is more near the Salton Sea. So, um, and then the 7th and the 8th it moves farther down near the Salton Sea still. And on the 8th and 9th of June, the risk is up here in San Francisco Bay on the 8th and 9th of June. So we'll be keeping an eye on that as well. But for now, uh, the risk is uh, very high here in the uh, Salton Sea and up even to Coalinga and Fraser Park in Los Angeles. So here's the, uh, here's the warning for uh, California. We have a 6.5 to 7.5 earthquake is likely still in California, even though we got the 5.9 and the 5.3. And the reason is because we still have a very strong peak here late in the sixth into the seventh. And then it begins to taper off, the risk uh, tapers off after that. Most likely from San Francisco Bay to Los Angeles, highest risk is near Fraser Park or the Salton Sea. Those two areas are the highest risk. And Coalinga is also very high on the uh, risk level as well. So you can see that in San Francisco, it peaks there late on the 6th into the 7th. And same thing, late on the 6th into the 7th, it peaks, the risk peaks on in Los Angeles as well, and the Salton Sea. And if you look at the this, you can see uh, we've had hundreds, even during the last 24 hours, there's 413 earthquakes down here. Um, over the last uh, 36 hours or so, there's been close to 700 earthquakes in this area. And you can see right here, during the last seven days, there's been 864 in that area. So a lot of earthquakes down near the Salton Sea, and it's not over because the risk level, like we showed you in the, uh, on the graph here, still needs to reach a peak here late in the sixth into the seventh. And we're getting close to that right now. It's 940 in the evening. So we're getting close to this peak. So during the next, uh, uh, well, during, during the next 24 hours, especially, uh, the eighth is right here and then and the ninth is right here. So during the next 24 to 36 hours, very high risk in California. And the highest risk is near uh, Colinga, Fraser Park, and of course, the Salton Sea, especially the sixth into the seventh right here. Let's look at uh, Anchorage. You can see the 6.1 earthquake occurred on 6, 7Z Zulu time. And they're about 10 hours before that, which is late on the 30th into the 31st. And you can see this risk here late on the 30th into the 31st. 31st is right here. And this peaked uh, on the late on the 30th here. 6.1 hit. And now we have a, a peak coming up on the 9th. And this could produce about a 5.5, 5.0 to 5.5 in the Anchorage area on the June 9th on this peak. This one uh, 
will produce a, produced about a 6.1 earthquake up there. And this one should produce uh, about a 5.0 to 5.5 on the 9th in Anchorage. And you can see in, uh, close that window, in uh, the Tokyo forecast, here's the Tokyo forecast is right here. This spike in risk was on the 2nd. And you can see there was two quakes, one down here near Hamamatsu, a 4.4, and then a 4. No, this was a 4.2 down here. It was a 4.4 up here. And both of those occurred on the second, which is this peak right here. And this spike in risk occurred uh, on the sixth. And we had uh, this quake here, which is uh, 23 Zulu time is uh, UTC time 23, which is, and they're nine hours ahead of that. So that was on the sixth, this one here, 4.3. And this 4.9 occurred at about two or three in the morning on the seventh. So that occurred on this peak, uh, the sixth, 4.9. So uh, those two peaks verified. We have another, uh, a smaller peak coming up on the, um, well, we can see about the 11th, late in the 11th into the morning on the 12th. And that could produce about a 4.0 to 4.5 in the Tokyo area. So you can see this, uh, this forecast model is working very well. We use about 180,000 data points for each of these graphs. So there's a lot of data involved to make a forecast and it takes quite a while, but we're getting very, very accurate with this forecast model. And uh, so, uh, oh, let's look at some of the other forecasts around the world. We have some other forecasts that we did. Let's see here, we did, uh, Chile and Santiago, Chile. And the risk is in the south part, south of uh, Santiago, Chile. Right now, the 6th into the 7th. And the 7th into the 8th, uh, still south here in La Serena, kind of north of that area. The 8th into the 9th, north of La Serena. And uh, south of Santiago, Chile down here. And then in Italy, the risk right now is near Naples, the fifth into the sixth, the sixth into the seventh, the risk moves farther south of uh, Italy here. And the seventh, uh, the risk is uh, close to uh, the, uh, I forgot to put this, uh, Croatia, Croatia over there on the uh, sixth, uh, seventh into the eighth, the risk is near Croatia. Pretty high risk in there. And then uh, the eighth into the ninth, uh, kind of a moderate risk in the south. Philippines, the risk is mostly uh, right now, at least sixth into the seventh is in the south, far south. Seventh into the eighth, kind of in west central Philippines here, and also in the south. The eighth and the ninth uh, in the far northwest. And a little bit here down in the far south. Not a whole lot of risk there, but in the far north, there's a moderately high risk there. And in Greece, west central Greece on the fifth end of the sixth. And now it's pretty much into the seventh right now over there. So this is more valid now. The sixth into the seventh over here in east central Greece, pretty high risk there. 7th into the 8th, kind of southwest Turkey. 8th into the 9th of June over Albania. Central America. And we'll look at Costa Rica's forecast. On the 5th and the 6th, that's pretty much over. Let's see here. Nicaragua. There we go. 5th into the 6th. The sixth into the seventh, the risk is uh, near Costa Rica and Panama and Southwest Guatemala. The seventh into the eighth is mostly over Panama and the eighth into the ninth, uh, Northeast Honduras and Eastern Panama. Once again, let's look at the Los Angeles uh, risk here. You can see this is a a huge area of risk here. Look at this uh, compared to the uh, Tokyo forecast. 
you can see how thin this area is just a few hours over 80 percent but you look at the uh, los angeles forecast and it's uh 63 hours over 80 percent so there's a huge amount of energy and risk level for um starting on the fifth there and into the sixth into the seventh and lingering into the eighth of june so looking for a strong earthquake tonight into tomorrow in southern california and uh, 6.5 to 7.5 earthquake is likely highest risk is from koalinga to fraser park to the Salton Sea, and the highest risk, uh, even higher risk is Fraser Park and Salton Sea. Those two areas are the areas to look for, but the risk goes all the way up to uh, Koalinga as well. And then a uh, smaller peak here, late on the 10th into the 11th right there, but we're more concerned about this right now, late on the 6th into the 7th, expecting a strong earthquake in California, most likely from Koalinga to Fraser Park to the Salton Sea. Please warn your friends and family about this quake. And then uh, we're getting more and more accurate every day. Uh, 165,000 followers. Thank you to every one of you. Been researching since uh, 2005, so over uh, 16 years of research. And um, our forecasts are getting better and better every day. Thanks for stopping by and we will talk to you uh, after this uh, large earthquake occurs here in Southern California. And we will keep you updated. Stay safe. And uh, God bless. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon. And uh, be sure to tell your friends and family to be prepared for this uh, strong earthquake tonight into tomorrow morning. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.